as you as you can see this is the afternoon after the baths after all of the stuff Nate is taking his nap uh, they had their nap after their bath and they're eating outside as you can see they're eating outside no you can't see see they're eating outside they eat around a cylinder bowl and uh, they're doing really well Oh my gosh, goodness, I just, I'm so happy. I'm gonna take more pictures of them and put some of the afternoon play on one, on one uh, blog. Uh, bath photos on another one. And morning play in uh, another blog. So you have a gallery in each blog for the first time. <laughs> yeah. Craziness, craziness, I should just do one blog, but you know, I like to make more work for myself, I guess. I've got so much to do before tomorrow. And whenever I'm busy, Dennis likes to, uh, for some reason, give me extra laundry, and I don't know what it is. And I wish my grooming room was somewhere else other than where the wash and dryer is. But, I mean, you need to have it where the wash and dryer is because you can just take wet towels and fold them in the washer and wash them right away. But um, they bring their laundry down and, you know, figure out, fit it in in between doing every one and then goes, oh, you didn't move it on. Oh, well, yeah, I didn't move it on because this job took me two hours. <laughs> Such fun, such fun. I am so happy that they're all clean. We didn't do pads. We need to do pads. Uh, didn't do nails, gotta do nails. But none of it is, you know, a deal breaker for you visiting, so. And um, if I could have put them outside, like it, like it's less work with just myself. I didn't even realize it because Nate was taking the pictures. He doesn't like to take too many. So you're not gonna have too many bath photos. Every time he left, I kept trying to take pictures in between and do the puppies. Uh, he had, oh, the phone's ringing. Oh, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, I have to do this. Oh, I have to do that. So I think it would be easier if I just did it all myself, but I don't intend on having 16 puppies because 16 puppies is a lot of work. A lot of work. And we've got all the puppy stuff to go home and all that to do and you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm going to get it done, but I do. I always manage to. I think if I ever do baths with the fo uh, with this many puppies ever again, I'm going to tell Nate, no phone, no bathroom, stand here, take pictures, take more pictures. <laughs> Take video if you want to. Yeah. We wash them, we take a towel and dry them and put them in it. two different crates and put my blow dryers directed at them so they would dry. They weren't drying that fast and it's kind of cool. And the house is cool because we don't have the heat on. And and so, yeah, the forced air dryer was a must. And, and I had to do each puppy. So probably, conservatively, if the puppy wasn't too wet, it took me about seven minutes a puppy. Five minutes if I if a puppy 
if I took a puppy that was the first to go under the blow, uh, blow dryers. And yeah, okay, so let's be really, really conservative and say five minutes a puppy. That's still an hour and a half just to blow dry them. Yeah. <laughs> and it was only me. <laughs> only me. I needed that. If I needed gin and tonic, I need something. But instead I'm out. Dennis usually does the afternoon, but I am out before the rain starts and I am enjoying watching the puppies. I will tell you, I will tell you I had a scare like crazy because we found a mouse in our pool pool. Not alive, but oh my god. I don't like mice, I don't like rats, I don't like any of that type of stuff, so I kind of freaked out. And, um, yeah, that was fun. I still can't figure out how it got into the pool cleaner, but, you know, it did. when anything dies. <gasps> Come with the pool. I think that animals try to drink from the water or something and sometimes drown. Uh, drown. That's why you have to watch your dogs around the pool. We never let our dogs out by themselves. It's so important to monitor your dogs, not just for the pool, even if you have no pool. If they could get out or, or um, get hurt by an animal or, or like you have, have loose stools, anything, you have to know what your dog is doing. And none of us like to, you know, in the middle of the winter get a, you know, warm clothes on and bundle up to go outside but it's life no one likes to go out in rain but it's life that's why you teach them to go on the pad as well because as human beings we tend to be a little lazy about things we can get away with if we can Fluffy, fluffy pups. Fluffy pups. Look at how beautiful you are. Wait until people see you. They're gonna go, oh my goodness, you grew. You are lively. You are fun. I just hope that it's not too confining in the kitchen. It is what it is. <laughs>